Hello gamers and any newcomers who are just trying to learn how to install the Aether mod. I'm going to start off by showing you that my Minecraft is currently in 1.3.1 .1 and I'm going to show you how to downgrade and I'm also going to show you how to install all the mods that is required to allow the Aether to play. So as you can see in the bottom here it says 1.3.1. .1. We want to lower that back down to 1.2.5 in order for this to work. So you need to download MC Nostalgia. Now, this is the website where you're going to get it from. It's called MC Nostalgia 2.1.2 now works with 1.3.1. .1. So you can either search for that in the Minecraft forums or it will be the very first link in the description. So once you have installed that by clicking this link here, which will take you to Add Share, and when you get there you have to wait 5 seconds as you can see here. Then you click skip add and it will begin to download. However, I already have it, so I'm not going to bother with that. Next, you will need to install the actual Aether mod itself. So, this will be the second link in the description. And it is for 1.2.5. And you just simply scroll down here, just underneath this video here. There is download the Aether 1.2.5 mod for, this mine, for Minecraft 1.2.5, obviously. Once you have that, you will need mod loader, as it shows them all here, mod loader, audio mod, player API, and Minecraft Forge. However, it says mod loader there, it doesn't say where to install it, so I've taken in my own initiative, I suppose you could say, and I'll show you what to do. So start by downloading mod loader, which will be the third link in the description, and you come down to here, where it says download Risugami's mod loader 1.2.5. Once you have that, you'll need Minecraft Forge API, which will be the fourth link in the description. Again, scroll down and you want the mod client, not server. That's very important. So download that. All these are ad share. Apart from this, actually, I should probably show you this. Once you click on the mod client it will bring you to this and you'll think wait what the heck is this you need to click the in build artifacts minecraft forge client not server not src but client and that will take you to media file so they'll either be media file or ad share it doesn't really matter but either way you just click download here or you click skip ad and it will automatically download okay once you have minecraft forge you need the player api which will be the fifth link in the description again come down here you want the client and the audio mod I believe this is optional but I did it just for safety measures because that's what it says on the actual forums as shown here no nope, as shown here install any other mods that are compatible after that and probably audio mod after that and first before any other mods. So it's very indescriptive, it's really crappy. But I went ahead and downloaded it anyway and it requires the latest version of Mod Loader obviously and you come down here, you click the link and you download it. So, now that we have that, you can pause the video at any time until you have these things. Again, there will be six links in the description in order be the first thing you see in the description. So, we want to downgrade Minecraft, so open your MC Nostalgia folder and run this application folder and it will ask you to press enter to see a list of downgrade possibility. So just press enter. And these are all the things you can download to. Now this works for anything. You can go all the way to the top and go back to indev and infdev. You can go to 1.1, 1.0 for the other version of the Aether if you want that or you can simply go to 1.2.5 which is right here and next to it is a number 91 so we need to type 91 and press enter and that's it guys you've downgraded minecraft so we're just gonna check make sure that it's ran perfectly fine and everything's worked There we go, Minecraft 1.2.5. Nice and easy. No worries there. Now, I'm just going to point out before we go any further, these five folders here are WinRAR, 
I believe they work with WinZip as well, but I prefer WinRAR, it's so much easier to use, so you'll need to download that. I'll put the link to that in the description as well. But you can use whatever the heck you want for that, either WinZip, WinRAR, if there's anything else, I don't know, but WinRAR for me is the way to go, it's just easier. And you'll usually find that in your downloads, and this is where it's all kept. Yeah, I have a lot of crap. But you'll find them there. So, now we need to go to start, and depending on what you're running will depend what you do here. Because you'll either go to, I think there's something called run on Windows XP where you'll have to go to, or if you're on Windows 7 like I am, you press percent app data percent and you'll get roaming so we go in the roaming folder or you can go the long way and go computer C drive users whatever user you are app data roaming and then you go to dot minecraft you go to your bin folder and minecraft which is otherwise known as your dot jar folder which it also uses winrar okay now we can just close our bin down and you'll get this now this is very important I'm even gonna highlight this on the screen in editing meta in folder must be deleted nothing will work if you do not delete the meta inf it is a pointless folder and it screws everything up for you and basically you're just about done not gonna lie guys that's pretty much it open your mod loader folder if you haven't already in WinRAR obviously and your minecraft.jar all the folders in mod loader highlight and drag into your dot jar and then you just click OK simple now minimize that okay we've got the minecraft forge so we're gonna open the forge highlight all the file files or folders in minecraft forge and drag them into your dot jar it's quite important that you do it in this order as well guys so please try to follow along if you get stuck anywhere or it's not working post it in the comment section and I'll, I'll do what I can for you but I'm not that smart in mods I just know how to install it I'm not good at anything else <laughs> so again this is the player API you drag everything in I've got the changelog.txt and readme.txt that doesn't matter you can just drag them in you can get rid of them that's up to you I just drag them in anyway and then you get rid of the player API and now you actually do the Aether itself now for this you'll need to open the folder inside there and you've got jar so in the jar you've got all of these which you're going to chuck into your actual jar you go back to the top and you go back and you have a readme file that is completely pointless it takes you to a website with something on it I don't know I think it's to donate but resources mod you've got all that stuff so I'm gonna go all the way back and you will see I have a resources folder here now here is the roaming.minecraft folder if you can hear any noise it's my dog sorry guys but I've got all this stuff here a lot of it is somewhat pointless not very important the only thing we're gonna be tampering with is streaming sound and music now you're gonna have to bear with me on this guys it may button it may not be the most efficient way to do things but it's the way I do things and I find this easier and it ensures that it's gonna work so we're just gonna start off by going in the music folder on both and dragging the Aether 1 2 3 and 4 into the music folder in your actual dot jar well dot minecraft and it'll just come up with music dot ra next we'll go into sound and you'll have this you can just drag the aether click OK 
there we go and now we have streaming so we go into the streaming folder and we drag in Aethertune and that is it guys you now have the Aether installed theoretically that should work but I don't like to take chances so I'm gonna go ahead and install the audio mod as well just purely OCD reasons and worry reasons but this is this is what I did when I first installed it so this is what I recommend you do so we go back into our dot jar and we drag these three over into our dot jar from the audio mod file and then we can close everything down and open up your minecraft I'm hoping I'm not going too fast for you guys here please just write it in the comment section if it's not working and I'll see if I can help you but I cannot promise anything because I'm not that smart with figuring out errors or anything like that But congratulations guys you now have the Aether installed and I'm actually going to go on my single player world that I've already created with the Aether and voila it's worked and just in case you're wondering this video will be out first so I may as well tell you this is actually the map I'm going to be using or well have already used to record my tutorial series on how to craft and what everything is for in the Aether. It's basically going to be one massive series with multiple episodes, 10 minutes longish each episode which explains everything. I've already gone over tools and weapons I'm going to be going over a couple of other things but those videos will be out later guys so if you would like to see them please go ahead and click the link that is going to be in the description to that video whenever it gets released so thank you so much for watching I'll have written descriptions for you in the description as well so you can follow the written ones if I'm going too fast for you and hopefully they'll be in more detail than what I've talked about but that is basically how you install the Aether mod guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it's helped you any errors you get write it in the comment section and I'll do my best but no promises so thank you so much for watching and peace out guys